George Miller, who runs a congressional committee, Democrat in California, came out with the first notion of just getting rid of your being able to deduct from your income your contribution to your 401k. That the, the government's looting, losing $80 billion, and we can't afford to lose that, so they want to take that away. Then they had a hearing last week where a uh, uh, professor from the New School for Social Research, a professor of economics, Teresa Gillarducci, she appeared and she said, I got a better plan. What we want to do, we want to take your 401k at its August level before the crash, give you that equivalent and put it in your Social Security account, essentially. And we're going to invest that money that we take from your retirement account, your 401k, at its August level. And we're going to buy government bonds with it, which will guarantee you 3%. And then... We will require that you put 5% of your pay into your 401k, although it's not yours anymore. The government owns it. They will manage it. They will, they will take care of it. And then when your retirement day comes, you'll get your Social Security check, and part of your check will be whatever your 401k monthly payout is after 3% of growth every year uh, under the stewardship of the government. So I mentioned this on Greta's show yesterday in Seattle, Kirby Wilbur had this exchange with her. She said, your plan, as I understand it, uh, would end the tax deferral status of 401ks. Would I have one? And I put in a certain amount every month, and that's deducted from my gross, so I don't pay taxes on it until I pull it out when I retire. And so it would end that, and it would bring about a new government retirement plan. Is that correct? Not quite. Okay. Um, even though Rush Limbaugh said that's what it was. Okay. And whatever you have in your 401k now will keep its tax break. So everybody who has their 401k plan will be grandfathered in. But what I propose, instead of getting a tax deduction, like a decrease in your taxes, by whatever your tax rate is. So if you're at the very high income, your tax rate 39%. And if you're at the very low, you're at 15%. And 40 million people make so little they don't pay any taxes at all. Instead of the deduction coming from your tax rate, so if you're hot, whatever you put in your 401k, like a dollar, let's say, or $100, um, you get back um, 39 cents or $39 if you get the high rate. $15 or 15 cents if you're at the low rate, or nothing if you're at the low rate. I propose that we just transfer the deduction to a credit so that everybody gets $600. So I'm not taking away the tax break. I'm actually um, giving everybody a flat amount so that it's more equal. <laughs> where, am, where, where am I wrong about this? So what you're t everybody's going to get you're talking about socialism. Everybody's equal now. Whether you've got a thirty nine percent tax rate and you can deduct that amount, you get that equivalent deduction. This is all gobbledygook. Basically, I'm just going to give everybody six hundred bucks and you give me your IRA, and I'm going to buy government bonds with it at three percent a year. I'll just give you 600 bucks, and that's how we'll take care of this. So Kirby says, well, no, wait, there'd be a new plan where we, all of us who bring in a paycheck would put 5% of our income into the retirement plan administered by Social Security, uh, guided by the pension folks who do Congress and the Federal Reserve, uh, and, all, and, and you're going to guarantee at least a 3% return. The government would supplement that with $600 annual payment to the plan? The government would guarantee 3% plus inflation. Okay, 3% okay, plus inflation. So yeah, the bonds would be adjusted. Difference. As I understand, the $600 would be adjusted as well, right? It would. It would. Okay. Um, and what's amazing about this is that it's actually... Um, doesn't cost the government anybody. I'm just rearranging the tax breaks um, that are available now for 401ks and spreading spreading the wealth. Spreading the wealth. She, she, her proposal. Now, this is not Obama's yet. This is a this is George Miller's idea. This is the Democrats in Congress. Why well, say McCain's got to tie Obama to these people? But Obama will go for this. She's taking your four hundred one k and giving you six hundred dollars a year and three percent interest, and the Social Security Administration administers it, and you can put five percent a year into it. I want to go back and play the last soundbite here with Teresa Gilarducci, who is a uh, professor of economics at the New School for Social Research, and she testified before a House committee, Democrat committee, uh, last week on how she thinks the government should basically take your 401k uh, and administer it, take it away from you. But it's worse than that. That's bad enough, but it is worse than that because she wants to she says, spread the wealth around. What that means is spread your wealth. 
your wealth. So let's say you have a 401k, and I'm just going to use an arbitrary number. Your 401k right now has assets in it of, let's say, $50,000. Somebody else has assets of $30,000. She doesn't think that's fair to the person who has 30000 So rather than you get a tax you know, subsidy based on your 39% tax bracket, she's going to give you and the person with an IRA of 30000 600 bucks and call it even a year. Plus, invest the value of your IRA at 3% adjusted for inflation and then pay you back when you retire. You'll get one check. It'll say Social Security Administration. Your 401k is gone. The max you can contribute to it under her plan every year would be 5%. It's gone. Kaput. Now, this is not Obama's plan. I want to stress this is the Democrats in Congress. This is what they want to do. This, I don't care if they're Obama or if they're George Miller, Barney Frank. Liberals are liberals. Socialists are socialists. Now, you listen to Teresa Ghilarducci here again as Kirby Wilbur in Seattle tries to understand this. See, he says, you're going to supplement this with this $600 annual payment that everybody with a 401k is going to get. The government would guarantee three percent plus inflation. Okay, three percent. Okay, plus inflation. So yeah, the bonds would be adjusted. As I understand, the six hundred dollars would be adjusted as well, right? It would. It would. Okay. Um, and what's amazing about this is that it's actually um, doesn't cost the government anybody. I'm just rearranging the tax breaks um, that are available now for four hundred one k's and spreading spreading the wealth. Spreading your wealth but did you also notice the beautiful thing about the amazing thing is it doesn't cost the government any money it doesn't cost the precious government any money it's going to cost you money and you, you here's here's the lure and this is folks you got to understand this gosh this so infuriates me this is because this this imagine you're just a little guppy swimming around in your aquarium and this woman throws in a little lure to try to feed you and get you hooked your 401k is tanked she can wipe that out her plan is for the government to restore the value of your 401k before the crash hit that's what's the sweetener. That's what's supposed to suck you in. That's what's supposed to get you to support this. Wow, wow, we, you mean my benevolent government that loves me is going to restore my 401k value? Fine, fine. And then they're going to invest it with bonds at 3% a year plus and oh, that's wonderful. That's how they want you to give it up. That's how they want. They are the ones that came up with this plan. You know, this is a 401k, SEPKIOs, and so forth during the Reagan years. They don't like it. They do not like you having control over the creation of your own wealth, folks. That's, if you want to understand what redistribution is or socialism, whatever you want to call it, it's very simple. The Obamas of the world do not want you in control of your ability to amass wealth. They don't want you to have control over that. They want you to cede your wealth to them for restoring your 401k to its August levels, its values, and then 600 bucks a year. Yeah, 3%. Adjusted for inflation. No growth. Zippo growth. You want us 3% adjusted for inflation? Zero growth. They're promising you that your 401k will stay even with inflation, but that's it. This arrogance, it doesn't begin to describe it snurdily. Of course they're arrogant. I just want to do this and I want to do, and I want to take this tax and I want to do that and I want to, and here's what I want to do. And I, and it's amazing. It doesn't cost the government any money. Well, holy hell. It doesn't cost the government any money. What are we supposed to do? Get down and pray to Washington every day, four times a day? It doesn't cost Washington. It's not Washington's money in the first place, Mr. Gucci.